Hello. Hey guys. Hello. Hello. All right. Here we are. Yeah, here we are, back again, in our uh, very special episode. Isn't that right, Mark? This is a very special episode. It's our Thanksgiving episode. Yeah. So why are you eating turkey? Yeah. I'm getting tired. This will wake you up. Um, today we got. This is a super special episode because. We're not even going to be really talking about the Smiths today. Well, we are, but just we're going to cover One other of stuff too. 25% of the Smiths. Yes. <laughs> 25% of the Smiths. So, you know, well, um, of the Smiths. I, I, I wasn't sure if if we were going to um, combine it or just, you know, make do one episode where we talk about Morrissey and then another break it. And well, then, let's Anyway, we'll see where it goes. Yeah. We'll see how long we go. But uh, we got to get this stuff done because Kaz is going to be out of our lives, out of shortly. out of the state for for two yeah. years. Yeah, yeah, two long years. Yep. So Kaz will be gone. Reminds me of my senior year. <laughs> That's two years of my life, baby. <laughs> so, so anyway, um, we we dumped a whole bunch of episodes. Yeah. So I know that it might overwhelm some people, so... That's what people are commenting. <laughs> They're so overwhelmed they can't even comment or watch it. <laughs> <laughs> people, come on, man. Yeah, they ask us, are you guys still doing this? And then all of a sudden we give them all the episodes and they're like, sorry, we asked. Forget it. <laughs> okay, never mind. Too much. But, so, oh. yeah, so, so anyway, the episodes are there. We were trying to do a, a, a few... Uh, at a time, but I won't dump them all at the same time just so that we can cover everything before Kaz gets out of here. Uh, but today, we want to talk about two different things before we jump into Strange Ways. And the first one is, uh, well, actually, before we talk about that, if you have any comments or anything, please comment on the on the Smith's Here, cast. Steve, you go. Uh, comment uh, below. Comment they know. below. Uh, Look, that... No. Comment in our subreddit. <laughs> yeah, so so comment there. Uh, we have a Reddit. No. <laughs> Main page. <laughs> so so anyway, uh, comment there, and uh, you know if you comment, we're pretty good about uh, giving you an answer if you have a question or even just you know a general comment. We're we're pretty good at at answering that. Yeah, because we have. I mean, even with the amount of comments we get, we can still get to them. Yeah. Each one, we can take time for each. Anyway, okay. And so. remember, uh, if you comment, you have a 100% chance of winning a very special prize. Uh, it's our almost signed copy of List of the Lost. Yeah, which we'll get into in a second. But yeah, so if you comment and you direct message us with your uh, info, we'll actually send it to you. Well, we need to get Oliver. Yeah, Oliver. Uh, hey, I, I need your address so I can send you the copy <laughs> that, you know, that you've won. Yeah, <laughs> if you don't uh, send it, somebody else, you know, whoever sends us their address information first is going to get it. Yeah. But I got to tell you, one of the things we're going to talk about is the Morrissey concert that we went to on Thursday. And the list of the lost actually came up. Not in a good way. <laughs> so. Yeah, I brought it in with me. Anyway, uh, so, okay, so, well, just to jump into it, we got to go see Morrissey, the November 17th, right? Yep. At the Marquee Theater, sold out show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that was oversold and show. We it tried was, to pack so many people into that theater. That was just crazy. It, it, there, I mean, gosh, I don't know how many people that, that can hold, but, I mean, it was a long line. It was awesome. It was very enthusiastic crowd. And we weren't sure what to expect when we got there. We and uh, somehow Dave showed up. That what, our number one fan. Yeah, he certainly stalked us. <laughs> Although no, it's it's actually fun hanging out. No, I, 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 I'm I the one that gave him the ticket. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how Dave got there, but... Yeah. but <laughs> I just uh, left the ticket over there, and I was like, where was that other ticket? Then all of a sudden, Dave shows up at the concert. Like, hey, wow. guys. <laughs> no, um, it's like leaving a pie out on the windowsill. <laughs> <laughs> Sun burglar always comes there. Sun burglar or hobo always comes along and gets it. Yeah, so, I, uh, I actually like hanging out with Dave. No, me too. Yeah, great Boy, he's kind of my brother. So. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> but, you always get to hang out with him more than, you know... Yeah. Uh, so, it was, I mean, a packed show... And 
Man, I mean, but just waiting for the for him to go on. Yeah. Was I mean, it's that it, was doors open at seven. Doors, we were yeah, expecting doors it to, go, to go to to start at eight, but it didn't start till after nine o'clock. Yeah, and and here's the thing: I start getting really cautious because I knew there was no supporting <laughs> group. Um, but what had happened was Morrissey decided that he wanted us to watch videos before mm -hmm. he came out, and. So that, made, that made me feel really cautious, like, crap, this is going to be one of those lame-ass shows that that always come around, and it's like, crap. Well, yeah, you got to watch um, I mean, not the Tattoo, th The Ramones, Sex Pistols. Yeah, it wasn't um, like it was bad videos. It was just that it, it was just that if I wanted to watch videos, I would have stayed home and not stood for five and a half hours to... To, to watch things. Yeah, I was kind of like, okay, I'm ready to see Morrissey. That yeah. was, that, you know, I mean, we're old, so. Uh, after about. Kaz was probably. Yeah, Kaz was yeah. like, this is awesome, Kaz. man. No, Mark and I, you know, being the old ones. men we are, we're like, ugh, let's go sit down somewhere. <laughs> no, it was. <laughs> I'm here to see Morrissey, not videos. Come on. <laughs> what voice is that? <laughs> it's an old guy's voice, an old Jewish guy or something. <laughs> no, uh, that's a very specific character. Uh, but oh. whatever. Oh, you know what? Actually, from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That's it. <laughs> that's, that's what you had to yeah, call out. That's the best since King of Chicago. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, like 20 minutes into videos, everyone thought, like, after the end of the next video that was played, he was going to come on stage, so everybody just started cheering, like, Yeah. Let's go, loud. let's go, let's go. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember what the last song. Anyway, I got I got a set list of the stuff Ooh. that he played from the New Times review. So, um, so well after yeah, before we go into that, let's make sure we we cover the the start. Okay, that's what we're talking about. Well, yeah. Would well, you want me what to would you like play to the? Well, well, no, about the videos. Okay. They, they I don't remember what the last video was. I, I don't remember either, but there were a few videos that you kind of felt, okay, now this is it. This yeah, is it. He's okay, gonna come. he's coming out now. And nope. then you have people walk out on the stage and pick up guitars. Mm -hmm. And you're like, right on. And no, it was the roadies. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. Let's get this going. And then finally, the last video... The last video was, a, was an older video, uh, like an older song. Uh, from a movie like a musical and then um, and Oh, the it was that clip. weird dark it got it, it was the dark really dark uh, Yeah, like horror movies. Yeah, that was pretty that actually kind of cool. Yeah, and little the, like, and then the last clip was uh, And I forget the movie this came from because I've seen this so many times too, uh, but it was a clip from a movie and the guy says kids now school's gonna begin in like a really yeah. menacing voice and then it cuts out and then that's when he walks out on stage yeah there's this all of a sudden the background lights up and then there's Morrissey's face up there but it's painted like the Day of yeah, the Dead, Day of the Dead. Yeah, yeah, which is cool because it's uh, you know I mean he obviously he's got a lot of Latin uh, yeah, people he, who Latin love American, he's yeah. huge yeah and uh, and uh, oh I think I had the very beginning of when he walks out just so we can hear him kind of hear but we were like freaking out yeah, and, and the Marquee Theater, it wasn't like a huge theater. I mean, this is really a smaller venue, and there were no seating in the general admission, so everything was standing room only, and it didn't matter where you were in the theater, you could see Morrissey really, oh, yeah. really, really good. Oh, yeah. He came out yeah, with the... Anyway, let's just... So here we go. Kind of building up the anticipation. Oh, there's where the, yeah. the lights come up. So we're like... I mean, we were nice and close. Kaz was even closer. Yeah. He had made some friends up there. So, anyway, so it starts playing this, uh, this music, and then all of a sudden building up. Oh, there, he is. there he comes. There he is, the man himself. He's got a nice black jacket on. Only a black jacket. Yeah. Yeah. So. Wait, I thought he... So this is an Elvis song, and then... Uh, no. 
So he starts off with this kind of Latin sounding. Uh, yeah, that was that was good. So yeah. what what was the first song, Mark? The first. Oh, now I need to get back. No. <laughs> Again, we're old people. Guys like, <laughs> old Kaz people, like, they suck. Do you not know how to Okay, so the first song is by Elvis. Like I said, You'll Be Gone. Yep. And it was, you know, like a, a very uh, flamenco sounding uh, thing. And then it went into Alma Matters. Yeah. Alma um, Matters. And then after that, was it after that one or the following song? What? When he walked off. Oh, yeah, oh, that's, yeah. Where, that's where it happened. He yeah, during on the matters. Oh. No, it was during, and we're like, oh, <laughs> all of a sudden Morrissey's like, something was going on. All of a sudden Morrissey walks off, and and uh, and Steve's, you know, everybody for some is scared because they've had shows canceled by Morrissey. I wasn't. I was like, okay, he's gonna, he's gonna finish that. I'm not worried. But, yeah. But all of a sudden he walks off, and the band's still playing. Yeah. And he kind of disappears for. A and, minute or two. Yeah. yeah, and you just like see all these uh, roadies and um, security start to go uh, backstage where he went, where he went <laughs> off, and it's it all hits very close to home because the last uh, the last show he played in Arizona, he played five songs and then left. Yeah. So I was, you know, once that happened, everybody in the crowd was kind of like, what was kind of thinking? Oh no, no, come back, come back. And uh, I don't know what what it was with him, why he left. I don't know if it was, you know, he just yeah, needed some it, water or yeah, something. Yeah, had some or, kind of te issue or, or whatever. Or just had something in his eye that he needed to get out. But, I mean, he was yeah. only gone for, you know, a, and, and... But it see, but you could feel the anticipation of people, like, yeah. looking. And, 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 and I oh, thought maybe he, he was just taking off his jacket because it was too hot. Oh, it was and hot. And putting on a T-shirt. But when I saw the roadies at the end of the song, when I saw the roadies change out the guitars... For like uh, um, uh, Boz and uh, uh, what's his face? Um, you know that's the thing. I don't know. I know Boz and I know Gustavo and I know Morrissey. Gustavo. No, no, no. no. Oh. Tobias, Tobias. That's Tobias. It. That's so it. yeah. So when it changed out the guitars for Tobias and uh, Boz, then I felt then I felt a lot better because yeah. it was like okay, if they're changing out guitars, that means he's still coming back. So. Yeah. So it's good, and he did come back, but he was in the same he was in the same outfit. So it had to have been like he needed something for his throat. He needed something, you know, it, you know, something was in his eye or whatnot, or mm -hmm. or whatever. He just had to get whatever it was fixed, and then he came back out. Um, and then, so Alan matters, and then he goes into when I last spoke to Carol. What song? I don't know. That's from. That's um, on. Uh, um, I don't know a lot. Of, I haven't paid attention to Morrissey's uh, newer uh, albums, so I think of... it's on Ringleader. Oh no wonder I didn't pay Wait, attention. No, 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 no it's on. It's on that. Uh, world peace is under your business. Here's no, his refusal. refusal. No, I love that with the whenever he changed the album cover yeah. of Years of Refusal. <laughs> yeah. so, we'll get into that later. Um, yeah. Um, so it's from Years of Refusal, but. One one thing that you uh, that was just right from the start is Morrissey was really he was everybody. energetic. Yeah, super energetic. He was singing. I mean, I've never heard him. I've seen him a few times. I've never heard him sound so good. Yeah, he was he really was like his powerful. Vocal, too. Yeah, that's that, and that's one thing on his new album too. But we'll get to that. Yeah. That he's very. He's not. I think he's trying some different things and not not afraid to. He's not. Going the the typical way that yeah, he always I was, has. I was actually very very shocked because, um, like it, his concert in '91 that we went to, he seemed really rejuvenated. And then a few other times, it was just like, eh, I'm out here, might as well do it. Yeah. Like. Yeah, we saw him in Yuma, and he he that was right before he was going down to South America, the end of the U.S. I think it was, and um, so anyway, but he it was it was a good show, a little violent, yeah. but. But yeah, he was his yeah, voice was, like was very some... powerful. His voice was very, very yeah. good. Um, if he had a lot of energy and he had a really good 
uh, awareness of of everything there. It actually mm-hmm. looked like he wanted to be there for once. Yeah, exactly. And that was that was probably the the biggest change. Is he actually looked comfortable up there? And even in ninety one, when even in ninety one, after he got the uh, after he got rid of um, uh, uh, madness guy. Oh, uh, Suggs. Yeah, after he got rid of Suggs and, and bring, brung on uh, White and Bohr and Day and, and Cobran, he had a great group of musicians with him and he felt like he could he could tour. But even then, he didn't... It, it seemed like he was out there and he was energetic and whatnot, but it didn't seem like he was actually comfortable yeah. being out there with them. But it was, well, and there was still the new band. They, you know, yeah, they, they were still the new... All of a sudden, oh, who are these guys? You yeah. know, and... So I just think that somehow he's come to to really. It was, I mean, the it was, show was was phenomenal. Yeah, I thought it was great. And I'm an old I'm an old fart, and you are. I'm not in shape. I mean, I guess you can see that from the from the videos, but you know, standing up for you know five and a half six hours like we did, it took a toll on me. But I I don't care. My feet are still hurting today, <laughs> but. <laughs> But I don't yeah. care. It was worth it for this concert. I mean, it, it was, was really good. I, I'll, I I definitely would see him again. Yeah. Anyway, so okay, so uh, what was that song that we played or just said? Uh, when last I spoke to Carol. Yeah, when last I spoke to Carol, and then um, finally he comes into one of his new songs. Yep. So uh, I wish you lonely. Yeah. And then he starts into his new stuff. And actually, I think I have the start of uh, I wish you lonely. Um, this is the one where he had that cool backdrop with, oh no, that was, uh, I saw something he couldn't finish. I think this is... Yeah, this is it. I mean, but it's, you know, his, his voice just sounds so good that a lot of times whenever I've heard that even the Smiths and stuff live, yeah. I'm like, oh, his voice is yeah. Like, good. like Rank was a good album, but some of the uh, some of the uh, uh, um, bootlegs, some of the bootlegs are really bad quality. Yeah. And even though they're bad quality, you can still tell Morrissey isn't really that great up on stage, and he's he's really pitchy and he's really kind of all over the place. And then the one that this one. From his solo, I don't know who put this out or who decided to put this out. Oh yeah, but Big dang, was that, this was a horrible set. Yeah, I, I think, think whoever put that out was deaf. Yeah, because <laughs> just Beethoven. this this is not no, it's not even a good show. Great no, it's in, not in a concert. Good. Yeah, and it was a it was a horrible thing, and so, and and so I was really happy when he was when he had all this energy out on stage because it's nothing like Beethoven is deaf. It it is. It is awesome. Actually. No, you, yeah, like they, I, you know, the thing. When did they start like playing? Maybe it was it was in some later songs where they started playing different instruments and stuff too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because it was just like awesome, and finally somebody actually started playing the accordion. <laughs> we had to take pictures of it. Just so I we, have a picture yeah. of the guy playing the accordion because I'm like, look, somebody's it, the accordion is in the song. <laughs> look, they're about to play some like, uh, Proof, yeah. But, so uh, that, that okay, so I Wish You funny. Lonely, and also, uh, I think it was right whenever it came on, it was a fl- uh, up on the screen was a flash, or a couple of pictures of Margaret Thatcher yeah. walking, and then there's the, there's the, this, this, actually, Field we might, hockey. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't think, I think it was a policeman coming oh. with a, uh, uh, on a horse, with a baton, up behind her, ready to bat her down, <laughs> it's awesome, it was really cool. And uh, and and then and then he goes into Ganglord. Yeah, Ganglord was actually really good. Um, Which is one of his new songs that we'll be talking about. No, that was uh, that was on. Uh, that was oh on, Ganglord. Yeah, the, Ganglord. Oh wait, was I was thinking of something else. Dang. No, no, no I was that's thinking that's of the B-side. police one. Yeah, yeah. That's on the new. Yeah, new the album. the police one that's on uh, the new one is Who Will Protect Us from the Police? Yeah. Well, okay, Ganglord, but that was the one where they were showing all the videos of the... Yeah. Was you know, the one uh, with the police uh, uh, brutality which and stuff? Which, I, I gotta tell you, the first video he showed wasn't actually police brutality. That's from a movie, so... Oh, the first video? <laughs> yeah. Like, son of a gun. That's that's from a, that, that's from a movie. That's not actually real life. I, I don't know, but it's... I, I can't... Nice try, Marcy. 
But all the rest of the videos... No. Yeah, it was, it's brutal. The, yeah, those were more real, but the first one is actually from a movie, so I was like, huh, is he going to do this? And then they showed the other ones, and the other ones actually were police brutality, and so it's like, okay. Because you know, you know how it is on the internet. They're like, look at this. This is police brutality. Like, the biggest, funniest thing on the internet, <laughs> and I'm not kidding you, the biggest, funniest thing on the internet is when people started uh, cycling around photos of Steven Spielberg sitting by one of his animatronic dinosaurs from Jurassic Park with a gun in his hand, acting like he killed it. And they sent it around the internet. And I'm not kidding it you, the fake. internet. Well, no, 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 it's a real video, but the internet took fire on it. They were so upset with Steven that Spielberg. That he killed the dinosaur. That he killed the dinosaur. <laughs> you killed an animatronic dinosaur, you monster. And they were like, I've never seen any one of his movies ever again. Like, and first was, off, <laughs> he didn't really bring those those dinosaurs <laughs> back to life like that amber thing it's a movie that's funny but uh it was yeah. it was brutal but it really got the message across i think yeah that i mean and, it, and it's important because i think our that the world's getting more and more especially police divided but more militaristic too yeah well yeah these fine. free speech zones and stuff it's just crazy it's hey, just Mark? like what free speech zone right here <laughs> <laughs> that's right I'm not right there. Like you, my <laughs> voice just stops right there. Your, your words are coming into my free speech, yeah. <laughs> free speech space. Or? I mean, it's just crazy. But I'm saying, yeah. Suddenly, like, you know, I mean, even I don't know. I don't want to get political, but it's just it's a very middle militarized. Like, if you're getting pulled over for for a, a taillight being out, why does the cop have to have his his gun pulled out? I don't know. But yeah. anyway, it's just anyway. Yeah, and I've been stopped before. Right when I got home from, from my mission, uh -huh. uh, I was with two of my friends and the other one, uh, uh, one of our other friends, Mark, not this Mark, Gloria. another Mark. Oh, or whatever his last name is. <laughs> so anyway, Dang it. He didn't Don't live, stalk him. <laughs> he, didn't live in a good, he didn't live in a good part of town. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Jeff was driving kind of a beat up truck and it wasn't, look, you know, it didn't look good. So we drove in, stopped at a house. The kid got, you know, Mark got out, went inside. And then we start driving away and the cop pulled us over at that point. Needed to see our IDs and everything else. And he's like, I'm, I pulled you over because I watched you drive into the neighborhood, kind of drive around and then stop at a house. And then you guys were leaving. So I, I want to make sure you're not buying drugs. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. This is the most lamest excuse. And I, I, that's what I'm saying is that suddenly these things can turn anyway. Yeah. For I'm just saying you have a, a meter made basically you know, I mean, I'm yeah. saying, why would you arm a meter maid? They're just doing, if, I understand, you know, going into a big situation. Anyway, how, but police, have, you, have you seen big city people? They're like, I just went in for a freaking coffee. It was out there for 15 minutes. You give me a ticket? I'd be like, um, I'm going to get a, hey, wow. Um, no, she can't have that. Um, hmm? So anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so okay. Anyway, anyway so let's let's. Uh, so I mean, so he's got this kind of multimedia thing going on. Yeah. And you know, so not only is he singing, band sounds great, but then there's these these images projected up there that that help to to uh, give you the message. And then all of a sudden, the uh, I don't know if they, uh, they start playing the trumpet stuff. Yeah. For the bullfighter guys. Yeah. Hooray! Hooray! It was yeah. a really cool song. Yeah. Uh, that's actually one of the ones I actually like from his previous album, uh, World Peace is None of Your Business. Okay, guys, cover it. Um, I don't know, it's just a short, fun little song about, uh, what did he call it? Uh, a Spanish about, tradition. Uh, 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 yeah, dang it, we're, uh, I wish we uh, could, uh, uh, Spanish. A Spanish tradition that we're still fighting today, murder. Yeah. Basically, was what he, something like that, you know. And so all of a sudden it goes into the bullfighter dive. And it's like, yeah, you want to see, because you see these images too of the videos. Yeah. And these poor bulls have like these spears stuck in them and, and running around. You want to kind of see the bullfighter get hit. Yeah. It's like, it's like NASCAR. It's like nobody watches NASCAR to see him go around in circles. You watch it for the crashes. It's a crash car. Huh. That's what I want. I don't watch NASCAR. I know. So. <laughs> but I'm saying, but it, but no. I watch Ricky Bobby. <laughs> Ricky Bobby. 
Ricky Booby. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, it's like this kind of you know this this I don't know what I'm saying. It's just you're killing a you're cl killing a bull and trying to make it like all like like they're some kind of hero. It'd be kind yeah. of cool. It's kind of cool to see the bullfighter actually get it. And cows, what do you think? I agree. Uh, bullfighting is bull. really, really, yeah, it's bull. Yeah. It's a really cruel tradition. That's yeah. That's cruel with an R, not cool, by the way. It's a cool tradition, huh, cows? I you like it. <laughs> so, well, cows is saying, I well, should there have we go. To this cast today. Okay. <laughs> I should have called in sick. <laughs> So, uh, Come on, and God. then <laughs> we go into his first Smith song of the night. Oh, yes. yes. So, and I got a little recording of this. Um, you do too, Kaz. Yes, I do. Somewhere. I, I got it. But, oh, oh, you do? Oh, Steve's got it hooked up? Okay, yeah, let's, uh, so what am I going now for? I'm in some weird screen, Steve. I need your help here. <laughs> <laughs> help me, help me. Okay, um, oh, here, here's a picture of the guy with the accordion, just to prove it. <laughs> I have it. Okay, so then we go into. It's not good. Yeah. Okay. I have to check the backdrop. Yeah, it's got the kitty cat listening yeah. to the, the Smiths. <laughs> so anyway, so, so it's so cool. Here's the uh, start of the song. Oh, you get the very... Oh, uh, not quite the start, but... Oh, oh you don't have it hooked up to the speaker? Oh, I, yeah. I, do, I forgot about but that. But let me re-hook re it. Uh, but, uh, so... One of the things that Morrissey likes to do is he likes to substitute lyrics. So for this rendition of I Started Something I Couldn't Finish, he replaced... Uh, you grabbed me by the gilded beans. Yeah. Yeah, with well, what? You grabbed me by the Heinz, Heinz, Heinz baked, baked beans. beans. Oh, Heinz baked beans. That was, I was like, because at first I was like, what is he saying? And I was yeah. like, Heinz baked beans. I was like, maybe I just misheard it. And I was like, but yeah, the canned beans. Yeah. Yum. Morrissey loves him. Um, it's true. Although uh, there's meat in him? I, I, I don't know. I love... Don't tell him. Just don't tell him there's meat in there. I love finding like the pictures of Morrissey where he's got like some product that he's holding up like he's in an ad. Or there's this uh, big old picture of him with like a Cheez-It box right next to his head. I don't know. I love that one. Cheez-It box? Yeah, Cheez-It box. Okay. Okay, so anyway, here's the here was the beginning of of that song. I guess it's not the beginning. Yeah. Oh. Nice big beans. Yeah. Just like you said. That's so good. Yeah. And it's, it's really not that, it, it wasn't really uh, a bad thing either. I mean, I actually liked it because it was like, because uh, like on the album, which we'll cover, you know, it, it's a good rendition, but it, even live, it was really, the, the beats were all on the upbeat, not the downbeat like it is on the album. Whoa, save it for the podcast. Oh, wait, this is the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> save it for the Strange Ways cast. But Steve, here's, come on. here's the one. Here's the one where they ha and if I can figure out a way to put this up there, I will. Um, but maybe we can put this up while I'm while I'm playing it. Uh, but this is the one where they had the image of Margaret Thatcher walking and the and the guy on the horse, you know, yeah. ready to, to hit Chop her. Chopper off with her or whacker. Uh, this so no, that's not the one. I, that's not the one. It's it's this one right. Oh, that's wait. that one. No, that's the kitty cat. That's the I heard something. Yeah, I know. So what are you trying to do? I'm trying to bring it up to the front. I just don't what do you know mean why bring it up to the front? 
Well, it's still on text, so... There it is. No, that's uh, that's still the one with the kitty. Okay, yeah. technical so, issues. Anyway. Oh, wait, wait. Here we oh. go. Here we go. Oh, this is the beginning yeah. of it. But I'll see if I'll see if I can't uh, can't uh, uh, put this up so they can actually see it. Oh, well, uh, see the video. Oh. Yeah, so they can also see the background. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, and actually, one thing that uh, for uh, anybody who's watching, uh, the uh, Morrissey actually streamed some of the show live on his on his yeah. Facebook. Oh, he did. So yeah. there's a couple songs where because John. After I saw the show, it was like, oh, have fun. Or he's like, oh, I'm watching it stream live. You know, jump up at the stage. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and uh, oh, Kaz got a lot of pictures, a lot more pictures. Yeah, he, well, Kaz took a lot of pictures. Did a lot of live stuff, too. Video. Oh, yeah, I called that one Aurora Borealis. Oh, that's when, what's his name is called? With Gustavo out singing. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's 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 keep yeah. moving. Uh, if you turn like madness, you see more. See in the hey guys, like yeah. madness when you keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so uh, there's the alma matters. Dang, Cash, you get a lot. I only got three videos. Okay, so. So then, so oh, like yeah. I said. Oh, good. He, he got when he walked off stage. So I'll, I'll try to put this one up too on Alma Matters. Oh. So during the end, I don't know what it was. But yeah, Austin, like, he just kind of puts the mic up. He puts the, the mic up. And we're like. And he's like, see ya. We're like cheering, like, no, don't go. And see, look, he just starts walking yeah. back. I'm like, no! <laughs> yeah. So I'll see if I can't put so, that up too. Okay, so and we got. got I'm sorry. He yeah. goes into his first Smith song of the night. Which is a great song. Yep. Where we, yeah. where you... uh, I was going to say, it really worried me because the last time I saw Morrissey, that was the song he ended on. But oh. his alma mater. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. He was like, thanks for watching our videos. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. He comes out and plays two songs, basically. Okay, so, so, so the first Smith song of the night, and who was it that convinced him? Was it Boz or was it... Uh, was it... Uh, Alan, somebody was like, hey, Morrissey, you know, people do want to hear some of the old stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, it wasn't Ming White. Yeah, and Morrissey was, was always like, ah. Uh, He's like, you know, yeah, I, I, that part is past. Yeah, that part, I, I, I'm almost doing it because, to despite, despite, not despite. Despite. To spite. To spite. To spite, yeah. My, the Smiths fans, you know, because I've moved on, yeah. They I'm not gonna, and, but then finally he did. He came to a point where he, yeah, because Elaine was like, you know, they're your songs. Just yeah. because you record them with the Smiths doesn't make them. Yeah, the, the Smiths, Smiths. They are still. No, they're yours. still great songs. Yeah. So anyway, so whenever you know you go to a, a, a Morrissey show, you're always like, okay, I, you know, listen to Morrissey songs, but he's gonna play some old stuff too. So it's yeah. awesome. So that was that's always like. A, one of the highlights, but this show is full of highlights. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, next he went into "Kiss Me a Lot." Yeah, that was on World Peace. World Peace. How does that one go? Anyway, kiss me a lot, kiss me a lot, kiss me all over my face. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember there's a lot going on with about face wrapping legs around face. Yeah. Well, yeah. that that's in the new album. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll and then oh, here we go, and then. When he went into when you open your legs. Yeah. yeah. Like he gets distracted when you open your legs. It reminds me of that old joke if somebody's sitting there with their legs open, you know? It's like Or the old uh, Close your close your legs. The, the, the war's old over. Movie. Like, ooh, something <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. No, I was thinking the old movie, the uh, um, basic instinct. Oh uh, <laughs> I I've never actually seen you know, that. The, I know there's a big deal. You know, that part is the most paused. Uh, or, or that that part it has been paused like, more times. Like I think I see movie. something. <laughs> <laughs> like come, come on, guys. And, but so it, um, when well, you open your legs, you real uh, funny part about that. Huh? So I, I was going to tell you a real funny part about. Oh, okay. That. So there's a funny part. Yeah, the actress was told. Uh, uh, it was Sharon she, Stone. Yeah, Sharon Stone had something going on, so she couldn't wear underwear, and she was very. She she was very cautious about it, 
And she's like, just make sure you don't catch that because I have to, you know, move my legs around. And you got to make sure the camera doesn't catch it. And the director's like, don't no, worry, we won't catch it. And then they did. <laughs> and so it caused a big rift between her and the uh, director. Now I'm going to, guys, I'm not going to watch that. No, it's it's actually not even a great part. It's it's kind of a stupid part. Yeah, but I remember that. that there was a, it was a huge thing, though. Yeah. Like, I mean, back in the day. Anyway, so yeah. so Kiss Me A Lot, when you open your legs, yeah. um, and, then, and then... He talks about the ivory trade. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah we got oh, this that. is where we got... Uh, we did finally get an interview with Morrissey. <laughs> <laughs> it was more of a shouting, shouting interview. So, um, Mor so first off, Kaz, t tell about the Morrissey rant. So Morrissey, uh, after he finished, when you open your legs, he said, uh, what did he call him? Predicament Trump? Yeah, predicament. <laughs> Instead uh, of president. He said, Clever. predicament Trump has just allowed uh, ivory in the United States again, so his two sons can go hunt elephants in the wild. No, he didn't call them elephants. He called them defenseless animals. Oh, uh, okay. I don't remember that. Well, yeah. Well, I mean... Well, I guess since the elephants aren't armed, but come on, elephants are not defenseless animals. Well, but again. whenever you go... Anyway, we're, we're not arguing about that. Yeah. Okay, so anyway... He has a point. I mean, elephant, there's not a ton of elephants. Yeah, elephants are an endangered species. The, the. But I eat elephant for breakfast. Mark. <laughs> anyway, go ahead, guys. So. Uh, but so he was making this big point out yeah, of it, he was and it's kind of like, okay, go and, ahead. And uh, then he's like, he idiot. Did it. Yeah, he went, idiot, 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 and you know the the crowd cheers. Uh, you, you know how it is. And um, then Mark, Mark starts uh, shouting. Well, I, well, because I understand the importance of, of you know, the ivory trade and elephants being killed for, you know, I mean, they just waste the, the whole, it's just for the tusks, you yeah. know. But I was like, okay, the one thing you're going after Trump for <laughs> is ivory tusks? Dude. What and I, I was like, you know, yelled that. What about the wars? And he, you know? he didn't just yell it once. He yelled it like three, three to five. I mean, times. because I'm like, I understand, and Morrissey, you know, obviously, but I'm like, and so, but then we, so we had a little interview. <laughs> <laughs> we had a little interview. Mark was yelling, "What about the wars? What about the wars? What about the wars?" Morrissey had turned around to get a drink of water, and he, he, he bits into the microphone. And he goes, "Yes, I heard you." <laughs> So basically, saying he, he he understands, he's, you know, but I think yeah, you know, oh, yeah. I mean, it, it was because terrible. actually this new album, and that's one thing that I was like, actually, it does talk a lot about wars and yeah. stuff, and so I'm like, oh, you know, but I'm like, okay, you don't want to highlight this one little thing that is probably one of the smallest. And, and this is what I was telling telling the kids uh, the other day: the U.S. ivory consumption in the world doesn't even equal one percent. There are, there are other nations like China, uh, you, India, um, Africa, the African yes. nations. Those are the ones that are the major consumptions of ivory. I mean, I'm not saying that we should allow ivory trade into the U.S., but it was just, like Mark was saying, it was a very minuscule point to be making about predicament Trump. Yeah. If, if it's you like, want to criticize him about something, yeah. don't criticize him about something that isn't really a big deal well, in the United I mean, States. Yeah, yeah. So that that yeah that was my point. Well, there's I mean, you know, hundreds of thousands of lives lost with these wars and different things. So let's <laughs> let's talk about that yeah. too. Let's so, I mean you know you can say oh the ivory tree, but that, but, was, that was funny. <laughs> it was pretty Morris cool. Responded. It was pretty cool because we had that little interview in there. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, then he launched right into World Peace is None of Your Business, which is yeah, in my opinion, not the best song in the world. But did it? Was that the song? Okay, so yeah. Morrissey and his and his band had multiple spinal tap moments during throughout the concert, which I thought was funny. But he handled it so perfectly. Like one time, because anybody mm. who's seen Morrissey in concert, uh, you know he's always playing around with the microphone. He puts it up on the stand, and he was swerving the uh, uh, the stand. microphone stand around, and he he flipped it just right that the microphone jumps out of the, <laughs> out of the stand, hits the 
hits the stage, makes this big old knock sound, just like boom, 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 boom all the yeah, red so like, like and, and Morrissey just looks at it, and the and the yeah, his <laughs> eyes make that like it's like oh, it was like a five year old who just broke Mr. Wilson's <laughs> window. He's like oh no, <laughs> and then he just kind of when like slyly it. smiles and he bends down, picks it up, and starts singing. Boz's uh, saxophone wasn't set up right. Yeah. So oh yeah, he had the the roadie had to come out and fix it for him. His clarinet was off, so it had to be changed twice. Um, one of his guitars lost uh, um, lost the mic. It was one of the acoustic guitars. The mic fell into the guitar, and you could kind of hear it. If you really listened to it, you could hear the mic jumble around there. So you had to swap that out real quick. Yeah. Um, yeah. Then you had uh, uh, Morrissey another time dur during the encore. During the encore, he had a pocket watch with a big old chain hanging down on his on his jeans. And at the end of the show, he was dancing around, doing everything he he could. His his watch fell out of his pocket, was just kind of dangling around, and as he swerved around. The, the watch broke off the chain and it just was on the ground and, and like good old Grandpa Morrissey does, he, he looks around, he sees it, and he bends down and picks it up and puts it in his pocket. <laughs> it was just like so classic. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, um, it was bad. We, you know, we don't have to go through the entire show. No, I, that's kinda, why I'm just highlighting. Yeah, you, that's good. Uh, um, that's, what, that's, what, that's what I was saying. Like, good thing you kind of highlight. I mean, so, okay, so... But after, after World, World Peace is on your business, uh, launches into uh, you know the Smiths. How soon is now was so good. Yeah, I, I you know that's one of the hard songs to play. That's why the Smiths didn't play it in concert because it was just so hard to play. And they this they knocked it out of the park. That was so good. And yeah. and using the gong in the back. Oh yeah, that was let's 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 play it and then we'll. Oh yeah. So anyway, swallowing the mic. Like, uh, was this whenever he started doing the really cool? Yeah. Like, okay, so this it was yeah it was super cool because also they at the beginning we're still waiting for the show to start. There's this huge gong. Yeah. And then there's this big timpani kind of drum, timpani, I don't yeah, know, or tiffany. huge timpani. Timpani. No, Tiffany. Made by <laughs> Tiffany. Oh, breakfast at Tiffany's. <laughs> yeah. T what is it? It's it cash. You. Say it. Timpani, I think. Timpani. 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 I don't actually know. Dang it, that. we're all wrong. I don't even know if that's Comment what below. Uh, timpani. About. No, but there's this big, all right, the big so drum. There's a big drum. There's a big drum. Basically. It, um... So anyway, so at the end of the song, they start. The guy starts kind of, kind of like a. What song is that by Phil Collins where they do the whole drum? I'm feeling some. Anyway, but they start doing kind of like this drum solo. He hits the gong. Well, how did it? Gosh dang it! Well, he he just kept hitting the gong, and I honestly thought that was going to be the last song. Oh yeah, because that was our. Because that was just driving. I mean, it was awesome, and. Uh, I, I'm actually that's cool. eleven songs it. into it. I know, and then and then so anyway, so they do this really cool thing with the drums, you know, just and then like kind of this rhythmic thing with the big drum or whatever, yeah. you know, and it was just super cool. Um, and then goes into a pretender song. Yeah, yeah. He played he played uh, back, back on the, the chain, chain gang, gang. which yeah. was really good. Yeah. Uh, I believe he also did that one on BBC or. Whatever. Yeah. But mm -hmm. he do, he does a really uh, good rendition of it. Jackie's and only it, happy. Oh. And it's a great song. And then he goes into Jackie's when only happy new. when she's up on the stage, which is one of my favorites from the new album. But we'll get into that later. Yeah, Jack we need the, to hurry too. Cause yeah, Jack the Ripper. I know. Jack okay. Ripper. Well, anyway, and, Jack and the Ripper. Is like, uh, uh, when he went into Speedway, one thing that I was really ha sorry. Go ahead with Jack the Ripper. I like Jack the Ripper, so go ahead. Jack the Ripper is. Probably my favorite uh, song to see Morrissey do live because he gets so into it. The whole band is so into it, and there's fog everywhere. Which one is that? And it's just ominous. It, it's a B-side from certain people. Oh, okay. Which I mean, what were the anyway? He's asking how it goes. Oh, so Jack the Ripper, like, 
You're yeah. in fog. No, yeah. In fog. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you look so tired. Your mouth is slack and wide. Anyway. Bill housed and ill advised. Nope. Not ringing the bell. I remember the smoke, though. <laughs> the red smoke? <laughs> yeah. So. Okay, so then. Uh, and then he does a couple new songs, Home is a Question Mark. And spent the day in bed, which we've expressed our opinions <laughs> on. So, and, so, with Speedway, Speedway, they stop. Like, in the middle of it. You know, like, oh, yeah. in the song, oh, they just yes. stop. And, and then they play and musical the instruments. They, they musical all switch, chair. Yeah, well, musical or, chairs with their yeah. instruments. Everybody switches. Gustavo comes out to sing the rest of the song in Spanish, which was awesome. Because I love that Morrissey is is trying to promote the people in his band now instead of you know they're my support they're not yeah equals. like I'm Morrissey yeah yeah and that I, was like really cool to to even have him just sit back where Gustavo was and just yeah play the he's playing tambourine yeah. well and just like and then, admiring everything Gustavo uh, was doing Boz was on the drums yep. yeah honestly anyway. Morrissey back there was so funny because before uh, Gustavo started singing you could see him like trying to like figure out where everything is on the keyboard and then he just picks up a tambourine and starts hitting it. <laughs> <laughs> so right. yeah, that, that was, was awesome. That was cool and then um uh I'm throwing my oh wait, that was Speedway. Yeah. That you're, yeah. And then and then goes into one of his classic Morrissey songs, Every Day's Like Sunday. Yep. And uh and then he does a cover, The Rose Garden. Yeah. I beg your pardon. Yeah. Yeah. I never promised you a rose garden. So it was just, was cool because I I've never heard you know do that. And then and then we're all freaking out and then, you know it's like oh it's probably over but we're yeah. but no, the we're, crowd was really amped. We're we're, chan we're chanting. Yeah. We, we, that was the cool thing. Sometimes you're at a show like actually I was watching one from L. A. Uh -huh. And whenever it was in between like it was really quiet. Uh huh. But ours was like everybody was just totally amped. No, I I honestly wanted the crowd to start doing the uh, the old anthem that we tried to get it going. Yeah. Morsi, 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 Morsi. Yeah, but yeah. they weren't. Let's see. Oh, that's more. Um, let's see what I got. What song is this? Oh, this is this is uh, 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 well, this question mark. Yeah. So this is, but this is cool because it's all in the fog. Yeah. You know, it, I liked what the they, fog had just like the light show. Yeah, but it, so the whole thing was lit lit up blue, and just kind of this like slow song, and then uh, let's see. Every day, every day is like Sunday. Okay. The, and everybody singing together. Yeah. Anyway, so it's awesome. Oops, now I can't plug this. So, okay, so what were the? Oh wait, there. Oh wait, no, don't. We'll get into that. Oh, that's the. That's the. Oh yeah, wait, that's there the we go. Point. So. Oh, oops. So what was it? What was his last song? Well, that's what. So we're we're like freaking before, out. Before the finally he comes back. Oh, so Rose Garden was the last song. Rose Garden yeah. was the last. And song. then everybody's still chanting for him to come back, and he comes back. Yeah. Thankfully. So, oops, dang it, Mike. Mark here. Just uh, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then he comes back. Yeah. And plays another one of his early great Suede Head. Suede Head. And uh Which he, did, is fantastic. he did two songs for the Encore, right? Yes. Suede Head and and Trump Trump Shifters. Shifters. Yeah, Trump yeah. Shifters. Trump think, Shifters. Yeah, this is a I think He's been listening to a lot of Weird Al lately. <laughs> a parody of his own well, actually, song. Actually, he's been listening to the uh, Smiths cast, and he's like, you know what? They're right. Weird Lifters of the World was about the uh, uh, about the government. No, and it makes. But you know what? I I didn't get what the Trump shifters like. What that even I, meant? I don't know. Who who knows anymore? It's like you could have said Trump voters or yeah. Trump, you know, whatever. I didn't really get the. So yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, this is cool. <laughs> so, right, you can pause it there, or turn it down. So he's got the 
the picture for years of refusal as his background, except instead of the baby's head, he's replaced it with Trump. Uh, yeah, face. which was really a cool thing, especially because he's saying the Trump shifters. Man, he should have come up. Anyway, but uh, and then he's and then this yeah. is the end. He's he's there, kind of shaking every shaking people's hands that are reaching yeah. over and stuff. He takes off his. Oh shirt. wait, and then I think I got where Alan does the the solo, the hair metal part. The what? Or not Alan? Claus. Uh, <laughs> <Pause. laughs> <laughs> Such metal. I was trying to like, where's he at? Oh, there he is. The big guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and the entire band had a, had, had a t-shirt that said, I am not my type. Which is from Spend the Day in Bed. Yeah. So we'll end it with the, oh wait, actually. Well, we got to talk about List of the Lost real quick. Oh yeah. And oh, then, okay. And then after the concert, uh, everybody was clearing out. You know. There are still a uh, couple few people left, uh, but it's mostly security guards and roadies. So uh, I try to see if I can get like a set list or a pick or anything. And Mark hands me this copy of List of the Lost and says, ask if you could get this sign. So <laughs> I walk up to the front and I uh, kind of show it to the roadie up there. And I go, would you please ask Morrissey if he could sign this? And he picks it up from me, and for a second I'm thinking, oh, great, yes. great. And he looks at me, and he looks at the book, and he looks back at me, and he goes, you want me to give this to him? And I go, ask, ask if he'll sign it. And he goes, oh, pff, no. <laughs> and then just kind of like passes it back down yeah. to me. I mean, who knows where more was. Why didn't you ask for a pick or a, a set list? I did. They, they said no? Yeah. Hey. Oh. I at least he asked, asked, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's not shy. See, so even Morrissey doesn't want his own book. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to even see it, and it, yeah. he doesn't want it in his presence. So we, we tried to wait to see if we could maybe catch a glimpse of the, yeah. of yeah. the man himself. But, oh, by the way, at the end of the show, yeah, he, he threw off his, his jacket. No, he, he came... His he, bosoms were gone. Yeah, he was actually kind of... He was kind of fit. Yeah, he was... He, he's either been... You know, I th I think he just looked super healthy. Yeah. I mean, compared to some of the things I've seen, I'm like, whoa, Morrissey. Yeah. yeah. When you compare him to like Frank Black. Well, not not even that, but just Frank earlier Black. earlier Black older Morrissey. Oh yeah. Yeah, but even earlier older Morrissey. Yeah, he had, like, he had a bit of a belly. Well, yeah. I mean, that's what happens when you get old. You yeah. Get a belly, but. Well, yeah, but he's he. I mean. Has, is doing something where he's he's in a little better yeah. shape. So, anyway, We're all so good. it was awesome. Yeah. Um. Do you? So, so let's quickly go over his new album. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Just very but we're, we're not going to go into it in depth. So I got it. I listened to it the other day at work. What'd you think? I, I, let's just take it as an overview then. Uh, okay. So as an overview, I actually, you know, after listening to Spent the Day in Bed a few times and in. In context of the overall album, mm -hmm. it isn't actually that bad. I like Spend the Day in Bed. And so, I Wish You Lonely is actually a really good song. And then... Um, yeah, it is. The, the problem is, is then I get to the other side yeah. from like the girl from Tel Aviv who wouldn't kneel and all the young people must fall in love and went... I, I can't remember which songs they were, but it just sounded like it was one continual song. Yeah, were they? Well, oh, especially those the girl from Tel Aviv and Israel or whatever the one is, is where it it's like. Yeah. No, it's not that one. There's Israel. Was it Israel? What song is this? It's Israel. Israel. No, I don't think I heard. No, I don't. I don't think it's that one. There was one that was that just seemed to keep going on. Oh, it was the girl uh, from Tel Aviv. I bury the living. No, the girl from Tel Aviv has a whole set. No, it part. is. It, it it is. I bury the living. Oh yeah, it, it's, it's like I actually I like the end. I really like the end though with the I I do. Oh, I, I, I do, but yeah. the the thing is, is Whoa. this song. 
like it has two it, it, it's like they they had three different songs and they're like oh let's just throw them all together and we'll just call it this it's kind of dramatic effect and it, it like this is this is a good part of it that's the first part of the song this is the same song guys <laughs> this is the exact see what yeah but I, I think it here's the song same song not kidding you same song I am we'll pause, same pause. exact song I think it's really good because it's all it's all about these soldiers and doing these different things this guy's you know I, you yeah. can't blame me but then all of a sudden there's there's a real price though at the end with this and it's like wait our John's gone he was such a brave guy but the army's still moving on you know it's like it's kind of a I, I, I get that part but if, I know what you're if you can't figure out what to say you know in four minutes at most maybe you should figure out a different way to say it I know that's song. why I want to throw out Hasun's now out the door no 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 that's the, that's the thing that's more of a no, musical thing this is like seven and a half minutes of him talking and it's and, you, uh, and again my, it, okay it, it, it's not I know what I, you're saying it, it's not that I don't like the song it just seems discombobulated to me it, it seems like it starts out one way goes into the middle actually does though, something I, different and then the end is actually though I like the two. end song I like the guitar in it the, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it could have been its own separate song. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah you okay. could have taken this in and, and made three different songs from this one song because well, three, that's how many You only show there's two different parts. I, I know, because I, I don't want to waste time trying to find the other mid midsection part. But it was like it just kept going on, and I was like, huh, this must be another song. And I looked up at, at, at it playing, and I was like, oh, it's the same song. This doesn't sound anything like what it you know did two minutes ago. And so, well, so let's go over. Kind of, okay, so, so um, I just want to say the album starts off very strong. I feel like uh, the first three uh, mm -hmm. tracks are really good. I I thought it was going to be a really great album, and it, it's an all right album. It's better than World Peace uh, to me. Um, I think I think this one. This one kind of reminds me of like glamorous blue. Here, turn down the. You don't like it. I like the. I like all yeah. the trumpets, uh, the the horns in it and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. The, the first one, the first song is really good. When I heard this one, I was like, Yeah. This is yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. This is almost like something off of uh, your arsenal. Yeah. It's very. You know what? A lot of this album reminded me of because it's very dramatic. The music, kind of like a muse. Oh. You know, a muse is like, yeah, kind of like I don't know what you would even call a muse, but yeah, that drama, kind of like big songs, like this. This is another big song. Yeah, like just the music and everything. You can turn up a little bit. So and some sometimes some of his lyrics fail, like just that he could have. Like, you could have put be a little better lyrics. Yeah. The interesting thing I heard about this song, Jackie's always... This is a good song, at least. Yeah. Is that this is actually about uh, the year... Or England. I was talking to you about this. That this is about uh, England leaving the European Union. Brexit. Because yeah. I remember at the end... Oh, that's one thing yeah. we can talk about. It's like, it's exit! Hey, point out all the different exits. You know, so it's about Brexit. You know, yeah. Jackie, uh, the Union Jack. Yeah. And, and it makes sense. And so, what. That was cool in the show. I, was, I thought he was trying to get us to leave. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, we'll leave, all right? Well, the funny thing is, is from what I understood, Morrissey was actually for leaving the Brexit. EU. Yeah, he was all in favor of get England out of there. Well, that's the, that, that's the thing is that. I mean, I understand, because why would you want a bunch of bureaucrats running your country, especially if all these countries that can't pay their own bills? But anyway, that's besides well, the point. The, one, of the, one of the biggest things Spain for me about, about Brexit was 
the EU controlled what you could and could not do economically in your own country. Yeah, exactly. And that I was like, okay, that would have been that would be like New York State telling Florida, hey, this is what you can and can't but sell. You know that uh, the, that's the thing is that Morsi's all over the can be all over the board on his politics. He can yeah. say one thing and say, you know. So, I mean, and that's fine, but it's a cool song, and the yeah. imagery is really, like, yeah, it's a great song. Yeah. But I, I really like the middle bit when he's going through, like, beginning, scene two, scene oh. four, scene six. Yeah. Yeah. Scene six, this country is making me sick. Oops. Whoa. Just, okay. So, anyway. Oh, uh, it's on Morsi's face. So, on we're, we're on an hour. We're on an hour in. Okay. So well, we should probably wrap this one up. So okay, uh, your just your uh, general thing on on the new Morrissey album. Buy it. I, I'd, I'd, I'd say yeah. If you, if you like Morrissey, buy it. Um, if you don't, it's probably you, the you, best album he's, he's put out. And yeah, even if you're not a, a major Morrissey fan, like, this is worth it. Uh, what what year is it? Twenty seventeen. Probably like uh, half a decade to a decade. Well, I'm saying okay. So you got okay. So. Yeah, I would when say did, when did the, the best album he's, he's put out since, uh, what's the one with uh, I don't know. First of the Gang to Die? And, oh, uh, uh, that's uh, You Are the Quarry. That's yeah. probably, this is the best album he's put I, out since then. I, I, I like Tormentors. Ringleader of the Tormentors? Yeah. Okay. I actually like that one. I... Uh, uh, did I lose all my cred? <laughs> no street cred here. <laughs> right. no street cred. You, you, you need to be headed for the exit. <laughs> no. Um, no, that's fine. But I'm just saying this is. But he's had even since Tormentors, he's had yeah three albums. I so. I thought World Peace is none of your business was an okay album. I would say only buy it if you're a Morrissey fan. If you're not, yeah, I only bought it. I only bought this album because I wanted to be familiar with the songs for the first time I went to go see Morrissey. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, yeah, this is one. Uh, there's. I think I think with his new some of the new people in his band or whatever I don't know how long they've the guy in the keyboards and stuff have been there they're trying some different stuff there's a lot of ele more electronic stuff in this yeah. uh, a the, lot of the, horns yeah and uh, there's drama but there's so there's a lot going on so it's it's a little something new that I I yeah. I like yeah I mean but I probably if 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 it wasn't Morrissey though. I would, I would listen to a few songs. I would like yeah. like we were talking about. There's a, there's some really strong songs that I really like, and there's some songs that I, I'm not so. Yeah, crazy. but overall, even if you're not a Morrissey fan, low in high school is is a definite buy. Yeah. Okay. I, I think it is, and I'm not saying it because I'm a Morrissey fan. I'm saying it because it has <gasps> it has musical qualities. One highlight that I really like actually is all the young people must fall in love. Oh, that's yeah. that's a song that's at the, towards the end that I really there. Let's just real quick, okay? Because it's just there's something about it that's just. Okay, you want to skip ahead? It kind of reminds all oh, we are saying. But I just like there's something about this song that's just happy. You know, even though it's talking about... But I like that here. Oh, wait. We yeah. probably want to... But, oh, well, I wanted to get through this part. Dang it. Shoot! I don't know how to run this thing. <laughs> here, I'll, I'll get it. You want here, it at the end? I want it, well, no, not the end. I just want to go, presidents come and presidents go. That's like the part I really... Oh, there we go. Was it right there? Oh, wait, it's before that. Oh, wait. Oh no, it's back in the, go back, go back, before that, right before that. Okay, I think it's right up here. I just like that, there's something about that. I, okay. I really, I, there's something about it, like, you know, he's talking about these big things, nuclear war and stuff, but... Presidents come, presidents go, you know, and people, the kids, you know, young people still need to fall in love. Life goes yeah. on. Yeah. You know, it's not the end of the world, or it could be the end of the world, but Even kids are is. still going to fall in love. Yeah. I like, I just, there's something about it that I really like. Yeah. Um, 
So the enemy, which is not necessarily the most reputable source, especially nowadays, but uh, when they reviewed this album, they said that Morrissey was really like entranced by uh, like um, what they said by what's in between your legs, and I think that's kind of true. <laughs> How how many of these have reference to? Uh, well, there's that one yeah. where the, the, he'll he'll uh, greet me by wrapping your, yeah. your legs around my face. Yeah, and then it's like in your lap. Oh, that's a greeting. And then uh, when you're holding <laughs> your legs, so but it, um, it's kind of funny. It's cute though because it's like instead of wrapping somebody's, you know, they wrap their arms around your neck when you're greeting them. Also, doink. <laughs> 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 like, but, yeah. yeah, it's not yeah. the way I would be greeted. So but. Um, maybe Morrissey followed his old lyric and became uh, most people. Most people he, keep their brains between their legs. That's true. But yeah, don't you right. find? So next miscast, next miscast, we are gonna do Strange Ways. We're gonna jump right into Strange Ways. Yep. And we are going to go through a few songs there, and we're, we're going to get Strange Ways out of the way. Yeah, we've got limited time, so... Yeah. Yep. So, so um, we're going to go so out with... With, with Jackie. Yeah. 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 All right. All right, guys. It's got that slow tremolo. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No tremolo. All right. We will see you guys next time. Make sure you comment on anything. And that's, that's there it. There you go. All right. Uh, check out the album if you have a chance to turn it down a little bit. But if you have a chance to see Morrissey live on this this tour, Do go it. see him. Because, like I said, he's really stepped up his game. Yeah. Top it's, four. Yeah. Alright. Alright, see ya. Ciao. Okay.